Groups who are gang stalking, you know. There's no shortage of cowards who say, well, you know, there must be something wrong with you. There must be something wrong with me and not the leadership of the groups who are gang stalking. I mean, well, let's explore that idea. I'm going to play you about four clips from the news, three from RT, one from CNN. Antidepressants are killing people. A recent report claims the drug kills an estimated half a million Americans and Europeans annually. Efficiency trials funded by pharmacy companies are biased, it shows. The study also found psychiatric drugs actually cause 15 times more suicides than reported by the FDA. Not to mention some of the side effects like mania, nervousness, and paranoia. The list just goes on. Nonetheless, antidepressants are the second biggest prescribed drug in the U.S., with more than 250 million prescriptions given out each year. Why is there so little attention to this when, well, money talks? The antidepressant market is huge. It was worth $9.4 billion in 2013. Joining us in the now is Peter Gorcha, researcher of this data and professor at Denmark's Nordic Cochrane Center. Your research claims half a million deaths are caused by antidepressants annually. It is, of course, alarming. What is it based on? It's not only antidepressants. I also included uh, antipsychotics and benzodiazepines. And uh, it's based on randomized trials and good observational studies. And I talk about half a million deaths every year in those who are 65 or older in the United States and Europe. These drugs also kill many young people. Uh, if we look I don't have time to play all that clip, but you know, one thing I want to bring up before I forget. I've been stressed out, eating a lot of junk food, and eating a lot of donuts and stuff. Just, you know, just, you know, so I've been getting pimples. And, you know, the things I talk about, they just cannot wait. So, you know, even though a lot of people, you know, not many people watch these videos when I post them on Facebook. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Um, let me get to the next clip. That one just explores that title. Um, if, I'll put the names in the comments if I have time. A big farmer more extortionate than small e pilots, Danish, Danish doctor. Is that you suggest that. Uh could Same guy alleviate different. this problem is that drug testing, drug tests should be made a public enterprise and that all raw data should be free and I, I'm not a specialist but I would imagine that this is not a hard thing to do and perhaps not an overly expensive uh, undertaking but uh, I would also guess that this is something perhaps that drug companies object to the most. Well if you look at it in an economic way it would be far cheaper for our societies if drug development and marketing became a public enterprise. Because what the drug industry does now is that it abuses its monopoly. When Somali pirates take hostages, they might say that they want one million of some currency for each hostage. But what the drug industry does nowadays is that it sometimes says, we want one million for each person every year, year after year. Uh, we just saw a new uh, drug for cystic fibrosis that even cost two million Danish crowns a year, and that is year in and year out. So uh, the drug industry extorts us in a way that is uh, far worse than what the Somali pirates do, actually. And uh, therefore, if we, if we made it a public enterprise, we would save a lot of money because we could also show that a lot of these terribly expensive new drugs actually are not better than old drugs if we did our own clinical trials. Mm. Danish doctor saying what I've been saying for a long time. Notice he said far worst. And on the list, I say the worst criminals. Are the pirates the worst criminals? Or are big pharma and white collar criminals the worst criminals? Next clip, pharma firm hikes life-saving drug price by 5000 500 percent it's the last rt clip the two before were rt as well yes medical community is outraged after a life-saving drug saw a more than five thousand percent price hike the new york-based pharma company raised the price of a tablet from thirteen dollars fifty up to seven hundred and fifty dollars now this drug is vital for people who are at risk of toxoplasmosis that's a foodborne disease that affects individuals with a weakened immune system they include pregnant women newborn babies as well as patients with AIDS and cancer 
health organizations have already. Um, I'm trying to save time on the clips. Let me go to the last one. This perhaps is the most important clip. It's a different topic. Now, I talk about the military intelligence agency. Remember, intelligence agencies know damn well. If the military knows it, do you think the CIA doesn't know it? Do you think the FBI doesn't know it? Oh, they know. Oh, they know. The government knows. The military leadership knows. The leadership of the CIA and the FBI, they know. Secret societies, they know. Father says during his final conversation with his own son, his son who's a Marine, on the phone before his son was killed, Lance Corporal Greg Buckley Jr. told his father he was troubled by the screams he himself could hear coming from boys being sexually abused by Afghan police officers on a U.S. base. So he is with me now. And the father is Greg Buckley Sr. Uh, the attorney for the Buckley family is Mike Bowie. Um, thank you so much for both of you coming on. We have met through the television several times. It is an honor and a privilege to have you on again, sir. And again, I am so sorry about the loss of your son. We talked in 2012. Just we were covering green and blue attacks. Yes. And so that was the context of our conversation. Little did perhaps, certainly not myself, or even you really know at the time, connecting some of these dots. So can you just fill me in on some of the conversations, what you're willing to share that you had with your son and what he told you about this abuse? The abuse goes on, but we are told and they're told to look the other way. And it's disturbing to my son, who was only 20 when he went over there. And is that they're not allowed to speak out, they're not allowed to make any moves on it. There was a time, there was nine little boys that came in with Sawa Jan, the end of the July. Then later on that night, the boys disappeared, nobody could find them. So a couple of Marines were told to go look for the boys. And when they walked into Sawa Jan's place, they uh, opened up the door, and they were underneath the covers with these young boys, eight, nine, you know, 12 years old. And uh, they were told by the superior to back out of the room and leave the boys in there. Now that's disturbing when you hear a Marine turn around and tell you a story about this and boys were crying, they didn't want to be in there with these old men, <clears throat> and they were told to stay. And he had the Marines back out of there and just walk away and just look the other way and not talk about it. How many times did, did your son mention this to you on the phone? He mentioned a lot of different things to me. You know, the worst thing was that he told me that uh, they were going to murder him over there. And I said, well, I don't understand. He said, they're going to kill me on my base. I feel it. The they being the Afghans. The Afghans. Why did the he superiors. say that? They were just bad. He said that. He says, I don't understand this. Well, we're here. What we're doing. He said, these people, we're trying to help them. And, you know, they he got into an altercation one night with one of the superior officers that he kept on repeating in my son's ear while he was on duty at night that they didn't want him there. You know, we don't want you here. We don't want you here. He obviously knew he was there for a purpose. Yeah. He, according to you, told you multiple times about some of the sexual abuse, the screams he would hear. All right, so let me let me just wrap this up. Um, you know, you see, basically they were gang stalking him. You know, they're saying using psychological warfare, teaming up on him. You know, group harassment. We don't want you. Under, that's group harassment. You know, and um, he could feel the darkness. You know, when people are out to get you, you kind of feel it. You know, when somebody really hates you and wants to kill you. You know, you'd be a pretty shallow person not to kind of feel some some something coming from them when you come across them. You're like, I can tell by the way this person's acting, you know, they want to do something to me. It's kind of like in, in prison, where it's, a lot of the inmates will know when something's about to go down because they feel this darkness and this violence come over, you know, the people who want to kill them. So, you know, let's face it, you know, you know, I explained to you how organized crime, you know, it goes without saying, organized crime invests in big pharma, organized crime knows what's going on, organized crime deals in sex slavery and so on and forth. Need I explain to you how these stories prove gang stalkers complete, utter trash, and their leadership the lowest forms of life around right now? You know, you wonder why I call them spiritual bottoms. They ask you, what kind of people can do these things? You know, what kind of philosophies allow for these things to happen. These are the philosophies that allow. These people are gay, raping little boys. They're atheist homosexuals, okay? They're Satanists, okay? They're feminists. Oh, well, you know, it's a little boy, you know, 
we don't care about the family. We only care about women having power kind of fucking attitude. You know, this uh, feminist attack in religion. They're all the people who attack the moral foundation of society, the moral fabric, the moral philosophies, you know, have set the stage for these things to take place. They have teamed up with the complete satanic trash to make sure these things take place smoothly. And then we have this, 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 uh, uh, you know, see no evil, hear no evil kind of sentiment in society. We have this, this kind of, you know, demonize the whistleblower and don't come to his aid sort of society, you know? I mean, to the point where this stuff will be, be you know, sometimes even on the news, but does anyone do anything about it? I mean, and then the news will come out and say, gang, people who's talking about gangs talking are, are delusional. It's like, what are you talking about? You, you just described gang stalking. You no, know, there's countless news reports proving gang stalking exists. You know, group harassment, government harassment, countless of them. And then they'll turn around and say, well, if you think this is happening to you, you are fucking delusional. No, you're fucking delusional. You're the fucking scum. You're the criminals. People should watch you motherfuckers. You shouldn't be watching me. They should be watching all you bitches. All you spiritual, sniveling, pitiful, disgraceful, detestable, rapacious, repugnant, fucking insidious, fucking iniquitous dogs. They should be watching you. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. Anyway, um, you know, they're a bunch of fucking scum, they're killing everybody, they're raping everybody, but hey, you know, I'm the bad guy for pointing it out, you know? Fucking crucify me for pointing it out, you know? Just complete fucking trash, you know? And, and mostly people, they don't wake up till, you know, his, this guy's son died. He didn't know anything about this till his son died and was forced to his attention, you know? It's like, you people, you'll realize that I'm right when it's too late, but will any of you apologize to me? No. You're going to be like, well, uh, 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 how were we supposed to know? Well, maybe because I was telling you motherfuckers for 20 fucking years and six years on fucking YouTube alone. But, you know, whatever. I'm just a crazy conspiracy theorist. What do I fucking know? Even when I'm proven right beyond any fucking doubt, what do I know? You know, a bunch of pedophiles, a bunch of spiritual bottom feeders killing everybody. The, the unholy alliance of spiritual bottom feeders with gang stalking and their gang stalkers and their institutions. You know? When we when we talk about education, you know, what what do universities do? They have a bunch of frats that rape bitches all the time. Do they shut them down? No, they don't shut them down. Why? Because there is a rape culture, but it isn't what you think it is. Feminists are trying to confuse you about what it is. They're saying, well it's video games and all this bullshit that barely means fucking anything, if anything at all. We have a secret society, spiritual, bottom feeder, rape culture. And you feminists are feeding into it by attacking the morality, the morality, the moral philosophies, the spirituality of society, or rather what's left of it, you motherfucking whores. We have a fucking secret society, we have a satanic culture. That's the problem here. We have a satanic culture that fucking pervades and permeates all through this motherfucking world. It's a globalist dogs. The problem with globalism is it's the satanic philosophies that they're pushing around the fucking globe. You know, put it in a nutshell, that's the fucking problem. That's the fucking problem. Complete fucking scum. You know, and they have the nerve to blacklist, sabotage, and bring... I've wanted to kill these motherfuckers for 20 fucking years. Then in the last six years, they had the nerve to make it obvious that they're fucking with me. Fuck you, motherfuckers. You took my fucking son. You jumped my brother. You most likely sexually assaulted me after you drugged me. You covertly fucking drugged me. You had me go to reform school, jail, and fucking psych wards after you fucking set me up. Fuck all you motherfuckers. You understand me? By the grace of God, I haven't executed you lowly fucking scumbags. You fucking sewage, vile, fucking villain, ultra-demonic fucking trash. It's complete fucking scum. You know, can you imagine having to hold back your hatred for these people? You know? And then, if, I'm, if I was to describe who they are, you know, it would set the stage for them to silence me fucking completely, you know? Not even calling them out by name, just the types of their certain ethnic groups that are behind this, and there is no way around it. But if I was to spill it out, oh gosh, if I was to spill it out over and over, I've, I've said it before, I've said it before, you know? But if I was to spill it out in every fucking video, it would only be a matter of time. 
You know, if you want to know who it is, you're going to have to ask me. I'll put it in the comments because I can't spell it out for you because they're a bunch of fucking scum. I've said it in other videos. There are certain groups of people, certain, though, certain groups of people 